Morning, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I wanted to talk about how you're listening with your mouth and how that might be working for you. Probably isn't, right? So this is Jackie Schwab from www.jackieschwab.com, the founder of the Pressplate Lifestyle Signature System and a professional success coach. So today, we're going to talk about how you're effectively communicating with your mouth or maybe how you're not right? We've all heard that you have two ears and two eyes and one mouth and good communication involves using the things that you have more of, right? Um, but when I was talking with a couple a couple of clients of mine in our Success with Balance Career Driven Moms group, they were really struggling with communicating with one another. So I asked them if they had really done any work on asking, listening, and validating. Um, and that's one of the most effective ways to communicate with someone is to actually um, ask, i.e. never assume you know what they're saying. So if they said, oh, man, I'm tired of it when that I'm tired of you doing that. And you can say, ask, like, well, what are you tired of me doing? And you might be surprised. You might have assumed it was the thing you were literally just doing. And maybe you gave them a weird look. And the next is to listen and actually listen for understanding instead of listening for when you wanna talk next. And the last one was something I, I'm gonna give credit to learning from um, a woman named Denise Brown. She runs the Caregiving, um, Caregiving National Convention or National Conference in Chicago. I think they're in their fourth or fifth year. And her uh, Caregiving Consultant Program, she really talks a lot about validation. And validation is the way that you let people know that you're hearing them. And so, for example, if someone says, I really don't like it when you do that, it hurts my feelings. You To validate that, you would you don't make an excuse for it or you don't defend yourself. You, you literally say, I can understand how you might not like it when I do that and that it would make you feel poorly. Can you tell me more? And that seems like odd and not necessarily something you would think about, but just think about the difference in how that feels. Um, if you come back right away, the way you always kind of might respond real defensive, it does make having a really good conversation kind of difficult. So taking the opportunity to listen for understanding and then validate what they're saying and then ask for more information uh, is really very helpful. The other thing is um, actually participate in the conversation. So the very specific example was we were on the call with a couple of these ladies and one of them was talking about some things that were kind of tough for her. And the other one was just like walking around their office with their phone and we're seeing their cat and I've seen the dog. And finally, the first person was like, I don't really feel like you're paying attention to me. And she's like, oh, I hear everything you're saying, but I don't feel like you're paying attention. So think about that too. When you're having a conversation, you know, with a coworker, stop doing your email, turn around, face them, and then have that conversation because like they'll feel like you're dismissing them or that you're not in, engaged in the conversation, even if you're listening. Um, so it doesn't, it's not more productive to ignore them or half listen to them. Like you think they matter, right? So consider asking for more clarity, listening for things that you can both agree on or listening for understanding versus listening for when you get to talk. And then lastly, validating what they're looking around and saying, no, you didn't. Uh, another um, friend of ours said, great, more reflexive, less reacting, important communication skills. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's my friend Cheeky. She's, she's a super smart and lives in Puerto Rico and is a, is a, a psychologist, so she knows more than I do about all things like this. So thank you for validating me and what I'm talking about. All right, guys, hopefully you found a lot of value for this. So if you did, please like, share with a friend who you might want to encourage to pay attention to you when you're talking to them. And please come join our Success with Balance for Courage of a Moms Facebook group, where we connect with other moms just like you who are trying to balance a work, life, career, kids, family, husbands, spouses, significant others, 
and still find time to breathe, eat, and go to the bathroom. Uh, this is Jackie Schwab. Jackie Schwab. Yeah, I don't even know my own name. Um, I love you too, Cheeky. <laughs> this is Jackie Schwab signing off, reminding you to embrace your pause, play the game that you want to win, and prosper with a life by design, not by default. Bye, everybody. See you again tomorrow.